This video addresses North Carolina Math Standard 5NF1, adding and subtracting fractions with unlike denominators, including mixed numbers, by using related fractions. Fractions are limited to halves, fourths, and eighths, thirds, sixths, and twelfths, fifths, tenths, and hundredths. This video examines why we can find common denominators when adding two fractions and how to use models to find common denominators, such as bar models, circle models, and number lines. NF1 calls for students to add and subtract fractions with unlike but related denominators. The standard identifies halves, fourths, and eighths as being related, thirds, sixths, and twelfths as related, and fifths, tenths, and hundredths as related. For example, a student may be asked to add three-fourths and one-half. When solving a problem such as this, Students find common denominators by generating an equivalent fraction for one of the fractions. Initially, students create equivalent fractions using models, such as circle models, bar models, and number lines. Eventually, this work leads students to develop the algorithm for adding and subtracting fractions. Work with standard NF1 begins by discussing why it is helpful to find common denominators. The conversation may sound like this. When adding any two groups of items, we naturally find a common name for these items. When adding two boys and three girls, we say that this is five children. Rather than calling all of the items boys or all of the items girls, a new common name is used, children. When adding two cows and two pigs, when we put them together, it becomes four animals. The new name that describes both items is animals. Adding fractions works in the same way. In this problem, we are adding one half and one fourth. We can't describe these two parts as two halves, nor can we describe these parts as two fourths. We must look for a new name that describes both of these fractions. We do this by changing one of the fractions into an equivalent fraction so that both fractions will be composed of same sized parts. This means both fractions will have a common denominator. We can easily find an equivalent fraction by representing the problem with circle models. One half, one fourth. Look at these fractions and decide which one we will change. As I look at my circle models, I can see that I can replace that larger fraction, one half, with two one fourths. It's the same amount, it just looks different. Now, this helps me easily add the two fractions, two fourths and one fourth. Oh, well, that makes three fourths. Notice the focus on manipulatives in this example. Using manipulatives such as fraction bars as well as circle models is essential to the conceptual development of this standard. The physical trading of the two one-fourth pieces for that one-half helps students gain a deeper understanding of equivalent fractions. You may even connect this idea to, of equivalency to the exchange of two nickels for a dime or ten unicubes for one ten rod. As illustrated in this video, standard NF1 calls for students to add and subtract fractions, including mixed numbers, with unlike denominators using related fractions.